All right, hello everyone, Cajun here, back for another anime persona video, or build your anime persona video. This time we're picking up where we left off on the three types of, you know, anime protagonists. So, the second one. The Demon Lord. The overpowered badass who usually is called the Demon King or who is striving to become the Demon King. These guys, they are usually good guys. But at the same time, they can be bad. But the stereotype is they're super powerful and they're called the Demon King. Whether they deserve the title or not, it really kind of depends. But the point still stands, we're going to make this character. Let's go with your background. Well, background, hmm. How would you do this in a D&D set? Possessed by a demon. Maybe you're a warlock who has signed a contract with a demon. Background kind of needs to fit, so let's go with a noble. Because you're going to be the demon king, right? You gotta be somewhat noble. Or a folk hero, because you rose from nothing to become the demon king. But the point still stands. Remember, the goal, become the demon king. That's kind of the whole point of your character. How are you going to do this? Well, probably becoming a demon. Secondly, becoming the king. Taking out Asmodeus and ascending the throne. Is this possible? Probably not. At least not when you're playing. But you know, your DM may actually make it, so the next time you play the campaign and your character survived, maybe he is the Demon King. Who knows? But the point still stands. Background, kind of fluid, but I'd stick to the more stereotypical, reasonable type of things. Like a folk hero who's rising up and for thinks the Demon King's better than anything else. A cultist, maybe, but I don't know if I'd go that far. And lastly, the noble. Because of course, nobles, prideful, kind of fits with the Demon King. Okay, so your alignment. I'd say chaotic neutral, because to tell you the truth, I can't actually call them evil unless you're going for an overlord type stance, and even he does good things, so I'm sticking with neutral. Now, chaotic neutral, because chaotic, who wants to be the demon king, and what the heck are you on? Now, I suppose technically you could have a code, or you could just be true neutral, but if I was me, I'd go with chaotic neutral. Now, personality traits. Oh, oh, okay. You're gonna be the demon king. So, you know what that means. You oppress anyone who stands in your way. You ignore them. You don't care. You yourself are an individual who does not believe in the ideals that others are the same as you. You will strive to be the strongest. You are the strongest. You're gonna be the strongest. So, you think yourself to be the strongest. Now, that does not necessarily mean you're going to oppress people. But it does mean when some stupid noble comes into your face and you say, they say, get out of here, I have a higher rank, you just swat them and move on because you're overpowered. Now, of course, that's not always a good thing, but we'll get to that in a moment. Your ideals. All right, how, what, what, what is your ideal? Ideal one, become the demon king. Ideal two, become the demon king. I'll, ideal three, become the demon king. Becoming the demon king is your goal, as well as, of course, your ideals. So just remember, becoming the demon king, main important task of this particular person. Now, you may believe yourself to already be the demon king, so why bother? There are characters with that archetype as well, and you can fit that into your story. But do realize that tends to end poorly in most cases. But... Who knows, maybe you'll do something great with it. But remember, your ideals, you are the Demon King. You don't get pushed around by others, and you do whatever the heck you want. As long as you think it will help you get to becoming the Demon King. You get the idea, Demon King's very important when it comes to this type of thing. Now, bonds. Now you see, the Demon King has bonds. But it's usually, maybe you're familiar, so maybe you see if your DM will allow you to have some kind of monster that helps you, and votes for you because you're the Demon King. Now, I think it would be funny if you had a parrot that would go around saying, he's the Demon King, he's the Demon King, he's the Demon King. I'm just saying, that'd be funny. But who knows, it's all on your DM and you. Pick your familiar, but try to make it something that doesn't talk a lot. The parrot, cool because it can parrot things, but remember, we don't want to annoy the party members too much with your stereotype. Because your flaws are already going to do that, I assure you. Now, other than that, maybe you have family members. Maybe you came from some occult that already had 
demons involved. Maybe you are just a demon. Because you're... Or a cambion. Because your demon allowed it. All the power to you. So maybe you have demon associates you already have. Maybe you have an underling who's striving to help you. Or maybe you have a bond with a corporate individual who is in the higher ranks, a demon lord, if we, one could say, who has seen your potential and is waiting for you to grow to a point where you would surpass him and take the rightful mantle as demon king. He supports you in what he can, but he also is trying to make it not look like he's associated with you too much. Because the current demon king's not going to like it if you try to take his place. I suppose in this characteristic, remember, whenever I say demon king, might be good to mention, you're probably going to be more of the king of, uh, the nine hells. But, if you choose to be a king of the abyss, all the power to you. It's probably going to be easier. But, who knows, it's your choice. That, of course, being the case, flaws. Now, here we go. There, now we're talking. One problem is you believe yourself to be the demon king, impervious to damage. Most of the time. You don't think things can kill you. This is a great flaw. As long as you, uh, all the party members know you have it, and your DM accepts it. I personally think it's amazing. You're going to piss off everyone who you think is degrading you because you're the demon king. Remember, very important, you're the demon king. So when a noble or, you know, a town's guard is restricting your access, you don't restrict my access, SWAT. Oops, you just made all the guards come after you. So it makes it perfect for your party to be like, Oh, no, 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 don't let that guy talk. Oh, that'll end poorly. That would be quite entertaining if you ask me. It, it is a good flaw, but only if you are, if the party gets catches on to it quickly and it doesn't get your party TPK'd, you know, at the first session. It could, it could not, who knows. But I'm just saying, that type of characteristic, hilarious. So remember, you're the Demon King. Main flaw, you don't take shit from anyone. Ever. And then, you dish out as much shit as you feel like. Whatever you want, because, remember, you're the Demon King. I think I've said it enough in this video. You gotta get the picture there. So, another flaw would probably be it's harder for you to understand the feelings or complex issues of individuals who are significantly weaker than you. Or have a mindset that is significantly weaker than you. Demon Kings do not usually understand the complex emotions of underlings who are weaker slash mm, full of more emotion than they need to be. So it is less likely you'll be able to truly grasp those individuals or empathize to the same extent. You'll see their suffering, but what you won't be able to understand their suffering most of the time and it may hurt them, but remember, if someone's causing their suffering, swat on the wall, you're the demon king, get that guy out of there, you don't mess with your friends. Or they shouldn't mess with your friends. Same principle applies. But, tell me what you guys think about my opinion of the demon king main protagonist stereotype in the comments down below. Like the video if you like my videos, and... Well, subscribe if you like my videos, like this video if you like this video, and share it. I'm really trying to help grow my community here, and that would help a lot. Okay, as always, have a nice day.